Welcome to the Computer Setup Screens tutorial. The computer must be set up and the various sensors calibrated for the particular chip spreader that the computer is installed in. This is normally done at the factory and the settings are retained in the computer's non-volatile memory. Normally, an entire setup does not have to be done in the field, but if a joystick or a gate transducer is replaced, that particular item would have to be recalibrated. In order to do that, you must enter the setup screens and follow through the various screens described as follows. If an item is already properly set, you can just scroll by it to the next item until you get to the one that needs to be recalibrated. If any one item is changed, you must save it using the procedure described at the end of the various screens. The following screens are entered by holding the CAL switch either up or down while turning the ignition key on or resetting the computer. The setup of the computer should always be performed with the ignition key on but the engine not running, except for calibrating the gates and the speed. Always place the mode selector switch in the park position when the chip spreader is stopped to avoid accidental movement of the machine. These screens are used to configure the computer to the particular chip spreader and to calibrate the joystick and the gates. This screen shows the version of the firmware which is loaded in the machine. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the machine in ship mode or work mode. In ship mode, the speed set point is fixed at 300 feet per minute. Work mode allows the operator to adjust the speed set point in the main operator screen. Use the CAL switch to toggle between work and ship mode. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the type of drive in the machine, either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Use the CAL switch to toggle between two and four-wheel drive. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the type of hopper installed on the machine. Use the CAL switch to toggle between fixed and variable hoppers. When this is set for your machine, push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to display the units to either English or metric. Use the CAL switch to toggle between English and metric units. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is the entry screen for calibrating the joystick. It should say 0% with the stick in neutral. If the stick is pushed full forward, the reading should change to 100%. And if pulled fully back into reverse, the reading should change to minus 100%. If it does not, at any of these positions, place the stick in neutral. Be sure that it is in neutral and then push the cow switch up or down. Once you have pushed the cow switch, you must complete the sequence or you will have lost the existing calibration of the joystick. Push the cow switch to calibrate the neutral position. Push the stick full forward the reading should change to approximately 4.4 to 4.6 volts. When you have the stick fully forward, push the cow switch to calibrate the full forward position of the joystick. Pull the joystick to the full reverse position. The reading should change to approximately 0.5 to 0.7 volts. When you have the stick fully rearward, push the cow switch to calibrate the full reverse position of the joystick. 
Ensure that the joystick reads 0% in neutral, 100% in full forward position, and minus 100% in the full reverse position. When you have finished calibrating the joystick, push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the maximum gate opening for the front hopper. Standard machines have a 4 inch gate opening and big chippers have a 5 inch gate opening. If the maximum gate opening is set incorrectly for the machine, the application rate will be off. Use the cal switch to toggle between 4 inch and 5 inch gate openings. When this is set for the machine, push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the actual closed position of the right gate. Be sure that the gate is actually closed. This number should read 0 inches. If this number is not 0, set it to 0 using the cal switch. When it is set to this value, push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the actual open position of the right gate. The number will read 0 inches until the right gate override is actuated. While holding the right gate override, the number should read 4 inches. If it does not read 4, first visually verify that the gate is actually fully open. After verification, while holding the right gate override, Press the cal switch to set the value to 4 inches. When the right gate override is released, the number on the screen should go back to 0. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the actual closed position of the left gate. Be sure that the gate is actually closed. This number should read 0 inches. If this number is not 0, Set it to zero using the cal switch. When it is set to this value, push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the actual open position of the left gate. The number will read zero inches until the left gate override is actuated. While holding the left gate override, the number should read four inches. If it does not read four, First, visually verify that the gate is actually fully open. After verification, while holding the left gate override, press the cal switch to set the value to 4 inches. When the left gate override is released, the number on the screen should go back to 0. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to adjust the threshold current to the right gate open solenoid. Use the cal switch to adjust the current up or down to increase or decrease the speed at which the right gate opens. Adjusting this value too high will cause the gates to hunt around the desired gate opening. Adjusting this value too low will cause a delay of the gate opening. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to adjust the threshold current to the right gate closed solenoid. Use the cal switch to adjust the current up or down to increase or decrease the speed at which the right gate closes. Adjusting this value too high will cause the gates to hunt around the desired gate opening. Adjusting this value too low will cause a delay of the gate closing. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to adjust the threshold current to the left gate open solenoid. Use the cal switch to adjust the current up or down to increase or decrease the speed at which the left gate opens. Adjusting this value too high will cause the gates to hunt around the desired gate opening. Adjusting this value too low will cause a delay of the gate opening. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. 
This screen is used to adjust the threshold current to the left gate closed solenoid. Use the Cal switch to adjust the current up or down to increase or decrease the speed at which the left gate closes. Adjusting this value too high will cause the gates to hunt around the desired gate opening. Adjusting this value too low will cause a delay of the gate closing. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the delay of the right gate on a variable width hopper. This value should be set to around 18.0. The computer will wait until the chip spreader travels an additional 18 inches before the right gate will open. The left gate is not affected by changing this number. Use the Cal switch to adjust the delay to achieve a straight starting line. The right spread roll delay will adjust with the gate hold setting. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. This screen is used to set the delay of the right gate on a variable width hopper. This value should be set to around 18.0. The computer will wait until the chip spreader travels an additional 18 inches before the right gate will close. The left gate is not affected by changing this number. Use the Cal switch to adjust the delay to achieve a straight finishing line. The right spread roll delay will adjust with the gate hold setting. Push the scroll switch down to move to the next screen. Press the save button to save any changes that were made or press the scroll switch down to exit without saving.